So there are different ways in Blender to make a hole inside a I mean hole in a in a in an object. So there are different ways, but I'm gonna show you one way to do that in this tutorial. And uh for that I'll need another mesh here. I have a cube here and I'm gonna add cylinder. I'm gonna uh, scale it on Z axis. And then again, I'm gonna scale it a little down. Okay, again, like this. Okay. And now I'm gonna rotate it to X axis. Okay, 90 degree. So, okay. Okay, so there is this thing, cylinder going through this cube. Right now, it doesn't have any hole, but we're gonna make it right now. So first of all, we're gonna go to, we're gonna choose the cube, not the cylinder, remember. You can choose the cube, the, uh, the object on which you're gonna make a hole, okay? Choose that object and then go to this, modify properties, add modifier and choose boolean okay now here are different uh different um options so the difference is the one you you're going to choose not the union and intersect but difference if it's if by default if, if it's on intersect just go to difference okay choose this now you don't need to do anything other than that. So just go to object here. And this one is uh, uh, eyedropper, uh, this thing eyedropper uh, symbol. Uh, you're gonna click on this one and then you're gonna click on the cylinder. Okay, so here the object is shown. Okay, cylinder, you can see cylinder in this object uh, box. So now what we can do is we can um, go to this cylinder here on scene collection and disable the cylinder to see, okay? Click on this eye icon and it shows that there is a hole, okay? So we have done that. It's not applied yet though. To apply, let's go back to cube. Uh, once you select the cube, you see this modifier here. So click on this arrow here and then click apply. Now it has been applied um, to see if there's hole just click on this cylinder and grab it here. Now it's applied, you can see here. And now if you even go to edit mode, you can see that there is a hole. Before applying, you cannot see that in the edit mode because it's not applied, actually applied. It's just, you can just see when the Boolean modifier is on, otherwise it's not there. So you have to apply. Uh, to actually cut the hole through the cube. Uh, so this one is, uh, there is a hole here, but it's, it goes through like, like completely goes through the cube from one side to the other side. What if we want the hole to be on only one side? Um, in that case, the same thing it's the same modifier but what you can do is you're gonna go to this view I'm gonna I'm here on the X axis view um, you can just click here you know and go to that view and we're gonna get grab the 
uh, cylinder press by pressing G and I'm gonna press Y so that it just goes to Y axis moves towards only Y axis again grab an Y axis and I'm gonna go just here okay just at the end of the cube and click okay now if you uh, disable the cylinder you can see this thing here um, you can even go a little further okay that's enough I guess and now click on the cube and it shows the modifier now go here and apply now grab the cylinder here okay now you can see here uh, if you go to this uh, wireframe mode okay you can see that there is a hole here now if you go to edit mode and uh, go to this what a solid mode sorry about that and choose Phase here, okay. Phase selection mode, and click here. Um, I'm not able to see that. Um, what's happened here? Let me check. It's not doing anything here. Oh, I might have uh, not chosen the. Um, cube yeah I have to select the cube maybe I selected the cylinder that's why it was not showing now select after selecting the cube I'm gonna go to edit mode now it shows the thing okay now if you go to this face selection mode and select the face here and then press oops sorry about that select uh, I mean delete press delete button and choose faces okay now you can see that there is this hole it doesn't go through the you know the whole cube and it doesn't have this uh, what do we call it kind of cylindrical thing here it just has this circle the hole you know, only it's only uh, on the one on one side and they um, inside it's all empty so if you want this kind of hole you can do that too with this boolean modifier okay it's uh, it's not uh, completely very clean here if you uh, look around here but still it does the work of you know making a hole on a on an object okay so this is how you use the boolean modi modifier to make a hole um in an object in any object so that's what i wanted to show in this tutorial uh hope you like the tutorial if you like this if you like this video don't forget to hit the like button and um, leave a comment and do not forget to subscribe to this channel